What's up, YouTube? I am back with a video. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go with this video today, but I just decided to film because I never do. And I know you guys, the people, the small amount of people that follows me, you guys want a new video. So let's see how this goes and hopefully this get posted. So a client is on her way. I'm in my basement, uh, which is my little studio. And I am going to color this wig uh, black ombre tips. And then we're going to cut it into a bob. So stay tuned. I have to like strategize how I really want to do this. I don't know if I want to cut it first and then color or color and then cut. But I think I'm going to color then cut. So... Before I get started, I'm going to show you what I'm using. And I am using Clairol. Focus. Okay. This came in a box. And it's a 1N natural black. Sorry I have like hair on it from another wig. But um, I got this because they didn't have the darkest black in the permanent color, the actual bottle. So I bought a box color, which... It was fine. I colored another wig with it, and it came out beautiful. So, um, And I'm going to use Clairol 20 volume. And I'm going to tell you something. I do not like cheap um, developer. I don't like off-brand developer. I'm going to say not cheap because they're all the same price. I don't like off-brand developer because it does not work the same. So that's a secret tip that I'm sharing with you guys because I love you guys. So I'm going to mix them in this mixing bowl. I actually made me another bowl because these mixing bowls are not high enough and I actually took like a tub that my bleach comes in and I cut it in half and I made a higher bowl so when I'm mixing it's not splashing everywhere so if you want to do that that's a little tip for you too so stay tuned while I mix the color Okay, so what I did was I sectioned her off and two sections up front equally parted. And I'm going to start back here. And I have did the four part sections, but because I want my color evenly distributed and I don't want to be like high up here on one side and low down here on this other side because we're doing ombre, I am just going to do the entire back how it is. So I don't want to just do one whole section and then take it loose and then do this section, trying to match it over there. We're just going to do small partings step by step. Okay. All right. My tarp. <laughs> I made a huge mess right there last time I was coloring a wig. Don't judge me, but they're a really cheap Home Depot, like $7.99 I think I paid for it. And it keeps the floor from getting ruined because I used to drip color on the floor. And now we don't have that problem. So I love my tarp. It's like one of my favorite things I have. And it keeps me from damaging my floor. So just wanted to let you know that other secret. Thank me later. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to edit this video. So I don't know why I keep saying I'm back, but I'm back. And I sectioned this part off up here. And I have a really small parting. It's just like a strip of hair. Hopefully, I do not get in the way. And I made a point of reference of where I want to do the ombre to. So if you can see that, it is the lace. And it's the tab of the lace. I pulled it down and I put a pin. I don't have much storage to um, record this entire video. So I'm going to mix this into the mixing bowl and sorry you're on a chair you're on a chair <laughs> and i'm gonna pour this into this bottle because you want to have equal parts and then pour it into the bowl so first step pour this into here it's going to be empty pour this into here and then pour the developer in there so you can have equal parts and if i have to use more than one bottle i have another one and you repeat the steps so I might try to record me like doing one of the layers but I really don't have any space I just deleted so many apps and I'm not pregnant or anything this is my fanny pack <laughs> so I just didn't want people to see that and be like oh she's pregnant no I'm not 
So let me get started with mixing the color and I'll come back. So I'm gonna try to record it all. This is the, the color. I poured it out in there. Then I'm gonna take the 20 volume. Then I'm going to pour that in there. I want you to see that all the way up to where the liquid was before. Then I'm going to add that to here. See that? Then you're going to mix, 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 mix. And this is why I say I like the tarp because you ideally want to do this over the tarp so you won't make a mess. So that's it for the mixing of the color. Keep stirring until it gets dark and then we'll come back. So I'm back. <laughs> I literally bought a whole box of gloves. I literally just bought it and I don't know where I put it. I do this to myself all the time. I have no idea because I always call myself organizer and stuff. But when I organize, I, I, I just operate better in chaos, I guess. Because I don't ever know where I put stuff at. But listen, I am putting these gloves on. You might see me color sometimes without it. But I just got my nails done. And I refuse to mess these up. And I just literally just got them done. I actually should double glove. So if you don't want permanent color on you, it stays on for a few days double glove or glove up but because my nails are very pointy i'm just using the gloves that came with the box kit my nails are really really sharp so i'm going to double glove and i need to hurry up because she's on her way so you might might catch a glimpse of her in the video she's a lot of fun so we might have a little fun when she gets here hope she don't mind that i'm so running behind um okay so that's that. And do you see how dark that is? That's how you want your color to be. Black, 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 black. Okay. So I'm gonna do the first layer with you guys. Then I'm gonna turn you off and then finish it. And I'm gonna tell you this, because I'm cutting it to a bob, I'm not gonna bring the color down here. It's a waste of color. I'm gonna cut all that off anyway. But I'm gonna just show you technique. And this is my favorite comb. Oh, let me get a mess. This is my favorite comb because you can't melt it. And it's very, like, you can barely snap this, but I don't want to try because I'm going to cry if I do. But I love this comb. The rat tail, it just never comes apart. It, they, doesn't, they don't sell it in a hair store where you will find a little cheap plastic combs. You, it comes individual in its own little wrapping. So I have to get the name of it and tell you what it is. I don't remember the name. Okay, so we're going to, and I hope you can see me because it's not the best camera action, but I'm going to go like this first, but sorry, like this first. And remember I have a reference point of where I want to start my ombre. So I'm just painting this on. I'm going to take it down a little bit because she wants to bob a little longer. She sent me a picture. It's past the shoulders, but she might change her mind. So, turn this sideways. And the reference point... Oh, man, come on. It's here, and I'm all the way down here. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. So, the reference point is here. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is... I don't want a line of demarcation... And if you haven't went to hair school, it is when you have a blunt, straight cut line across. So you want to take your um, tent brush and you want to like whisk it so it won't be like an even line. You want to go in there and paint it. Have you ever seen someone's hair color ombre and it's just like somebody just took the color and painted it straight across? It looks unnatural, super unnatural. I hope you guys can see ya. But if not, I'll try to get... So what's up? I'm back. I'm finished. I got color through the gloves and my nail. But guess what? The front looks great still. <laughs> I know. 
it was kind of hard. I had to take the first layer of gloves off. But I went up a little higher than I wanted. But it looks great, guys. Looks great. But a couple mistakes. Oh, I think I just made a mistake. Look at that. Forgot I touched the stand. I got a Kleenex wipe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab that with that. Hopefully I don't mess my nails up. I went up a little higher than expected only because as I started coloring, I really saw where my, like I really wanted to go. That side is higher than this side, but I think I'm gonna leave it that way because if you come over, it's like, it matches a little, see? It like matches and I don't wanna mess it up, so. If I have two, if it don't match when I dry it, then I'll go back in. Probably with a rinse because once this oxidizes, you only have a little time frame to get it on the hair. So I don't know what happens if you put it on there after it's already oxidized for so long. But, Lord. So I don't really know what I'm going to do to this yet. Maybe pluck all the hairs out that has the black on there, but I don't want to make it bald. Um, or take some bleach and bleach that area. I don't know yet. I think I'm gonna put bleach on it before I rinse this and then like, I don't know. This is a learning experience. And when I figure out how to get this out, this color out, I'm going to let you guys know what I did, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, this is a finished product wet, of course. And I got the stain out of my uh, tarp for the most part, how bad it was. Um, excuse my son's toys, but it looks good. I just, of course it's wet, so it's gonna look different when it's dry. But I really like, I don't know if you can see that, but it looked like, it looked like gray lines in there. That looks really pretty. Um, I like that. Sorry about the thought pop. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. But it just looks so good. And the color that I did up top, um, that I got stained on the top. Let's see if I can bend her down. It came out of this side, right? Why I get it on this side? So I'm going to just tell you guys now. Oh, my God. It looks like I got it in the top, too. Uh, oh, my God. That just got there. Like, because I had got color. I don't even know where it's coming from. Uh. But that just got there, you guys, because I, like, literally got all the color out. Oh, it looks like it's coming off. But the bleach did get it off. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. So, because there's so many little pieces, I think I'm going to just go in there and tweeze them out. Or blow dry it and go back in with the bleach. I don't know. I have to see. But it looks good. I'm so excited. I'm so happy my client is, like... She likes to try things. She's so fun. Usually I color wigs and she just buys them. She asks for this one specifically. So I can't wait till she get here. All right, stay tuned. I have to get this black out before she gets here and blow dry it and flatter in it. Stay tuned.